how does lead rating systems work lead rating systems are divided into credit categories most lead rating systems except lead for neighborhood development has the following nine credit categories integrative process location and transportation sustainable sites water efficiency energy and atmosphere materials and resources indoor environmental quality these seven credit categories are called as main credit categories innovation and design and regional priority are called as bonus categories each of these credit categories has prerequisites and credits prerequisites are mandatory requirements that project should comply and credits are optional requirements when the project complies with credits they are awarded with points for example under sustainable sites credit category construction pollution prevention is a prerequisite all projects should comply with the requirement of construction pollution prevention to be certified projects will not be certified if they are not complying with any of the prerequisite in the rating system other criteria under sustainable sites like site assessment site development open space rainwater management or credits when projects comply with the requirements of the credits they are awarded with points finally projects are certified based on the number of points they have scored there are four levels of certification if the project scores between 40 to 49 it is lead certified if the project scores between 50 to 59 it is lead silver certified if the project score 60 to 79 it is lead gold certified and finally if the project scores 80 or above it is lead platinum certified to summarize lead rating systems are divided into credit categories each credit category has a set of prerequisites and credits projects has to satisfy the mandatory prerequisite requirements and they have to earn some points the project should earn at least 40 points to be certified based on the number of points the project has scored the project may be certified as lead certified lead silver certified lead gold certified or lead platinum certified how points are allotted to each credit if you have a closer look to the lead project score card each credit do not carry equal number of points for example site assessment has 1 point site development protect or restore habitat has 2 points open space has 1 point rainwater management has 3 points so each credit do not carry equal number of points points are allotted based on how much the credit supports lead goals lead certified buildings are expected to make a positive impact by reducing contribution to global climate change by enhancing individual human health by protecting and restoring water resources by protecting and enhancing biodiversity and ecosystem by promoting sustainable and regenerative material cycles by building a green economy and by enhancing community quality of life these lead goals are called as lead impact categories and points are allotted based on how much the credit supports these impact categories each impact category has different weightage based on how significant they are for example reversing climate change is of more importance as compared to promoting green economy us green building council have published reference manuals for each family of rating system reference manuals are important references for project teams pursuing lead certification it is also used as reference for lead ap specialty exam